Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Keller Williams Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, Day 3. Today we're going to walk through the process of a basic configuration of your Keller Williams agent site. And in order to configure your agent site, we're going to be utilizing the consumer applet. It's here on the left hand side. We're going to click on consumer. And then we're going to go into site and app settings. Once we click on site and app settings, you'll see this white box at the top right hand corner that says agent sites options. We're going to go ahead and click on that box. And then we're going to decide that we want to use the new KW agent sites. So if you guys have already gone through this process and set up your site, feel free to jump to the next video. And yet if you have not configured your basic site or just want a refresher, go ahead and continue to watch. But I want to use the new KW agent site. That's what I want to configure. So I'm going to click on submit. It's going to take me away from that first page, but that's fine. It's going to dive me into the Kelly guide for agent sites. You can see the first thing we're going to do is choose our subdomain. We're going to work on the theme and styling, and then we're going to actually create three basic pages. Uh, in this case, we might actually just create two. So we're going to go ahead and click on get started. And from there, you're going to see that all agent sites must include the following requirements. Your market center brokerage DBA logo, an inclusion of ownership statement, and compliance with any local board or commission laws and rules. So it's important that you know the guidelines, rules, and regulations for marketing both in your market and in your state. Uh, if you have not yet downloaded your Market Center DBA logo, you can click here. It's going to take you into KW Connect. You can scroll down to where it says Market Center logos, put in your Market Center number, and then you can see I'm part of KW Platinum number 63. I can come over and download the logos that I need in order to upload into my agent site. So I'm going to click on acknowledge and continue to move forward. And the first thing that I need to do is choose a subdomain. So I'm in the uh, Regional Tech Trainer Rainmaker account today, just doing some testing since my site has already been set up. And so I have the ability to choose a blank.kw.com website. And so many people have done their name. For example, my site is actually martymuller.kw.com. Uh, many people have done cities or neighborhoods that they want to farm. So, um, you know, uh, houston.kw.com, katie.kw.com. Um, so it's really up to you. Uh, I would make it as short and sweet as possible. So Marty Miller loves to sell Katie homes. Might not be the best subdomain. It's just too much to type out and too much to remember. So you're going to select whatever your subdomain is here and you can click on confirm domain to make sure that it is available. Next, you'll see there's a drop down that says marketing profile information and we filled out the majority of that yesterday. So this should come in, but you want to go through and check any blanks that have a red asterisk and make sure that they have been appropriately filled out. If you have a team or business name, if you don't have a team, I would recommend just putting your brokerage name here. Uh, your professional job title should be, you know, a uh, real professional real estate consultant or realtor or, or something along those lines. Um, obviously, your email, your office number, your mobile number, and then your biography. Then you'll have your agent license number, any compliance and legal footers that you want to include, your market center brokerage license number, market center phone number. And then if you have any additional compliance links that are required by your area, city or state or brokerage or board, then this is where you can upload all of those. So anything that has an asterisk must be included. So I'm going to click on save and continue. It's going to say, great, you've claimed your domain and you have filled out your marketing profile. If for any reason, any of those boxes that had an asterisk by them had been left blank, I would not have been able to move to this next step. So it may, be, it may mean a matter of hunting down all of that information, license numbers and creating your bio and all of that. And yet, once you get all of that filled out, you can move to this next page. Next, I can change whether I want a red theme or a dark theme. It doesn't really change much. It's changing the, the logo here and a few other minor colors throughout the website. Um, so red or dark, whichever you prefer. Next, you have your home page text. That's this text right here in the center of the screen. So it could be find your dream home. Let's find your next home, something along those lines, whatever you'd like to have your homepage text. This is what they are going to see when they log into your site and it is the first page that they will see. 
Next, you have what are called hero images. And there are five of these available. You can see five of them have already been loaded for you. And you can choose whether you're going to use these five and or remove any one or all of them to upload your own images. Uh, the recommended file size is 1200 by 1200 to make sure that it shows up sharp behind this. So basically you can see this is the hero image back here behind Let's Find Your Next Home. So uh, I'll tell you, for example, this style of home is not very prevalent in the Katy or Houston area. So I actually removed this hero image. Um, we don't have orange and blue roofs in Katy and Houston, so I removed this image. I actually went through and found some images, <clears throat> excuse me, that were uh, pertinent to my area, to the Katy area, and I uploaded those images. So that may take a little bit of time, and then you can come on and save and continue on to the site pages. So next what we're doing is we're gonna build out up to three sites that are kind of stock sites, if you will, automatically included on our site, which is gonna be about us, about me, and then contact. So the about us is really for um, if you have a team or a company, right? So you're talking about, so for example, my old team was C Tim Cell. So I could come in and put in information about the actual team. Uh, intro paragraph, I could include some photos here. Um, each one of those can be uploaded. Um, however, if I don't have a team or if I don't want this page included, I can come down and click on skip. So this will really only apply to those of you that have a team. Um, if you are not the Rainmaker, I would consult with your Rainmaker to kind of confirm what he or she wants included on this page. But I'm gonna go ahead and click skip at this point. Pretend like we're a brand new individual agent. So next we're gonna get to the about me page. This is really about me as an agent. So the first thing you can see is search engine optimization. I can title this page and that's what the uh, search engines will search for. I would not have it say about me. I might say uh, Marty Miller, Katie Realtor <clears throat> or Marty Miller, uh, Realtor, Katie, Texas, something along those lines so that it's a little more um, identifiable when it shows up in the search engines. The URL slug is basically whatever happens after your site. So slash and then this about me. Um, I might actually put in about Marty. Right? Or I could put a dash about Marty Miller. Just realize you can't put any spaces in here. And then you have an SEO description. That's something you want to write out. Um, you don't want to just put keywords here, but you want to include keywords in a sentence. So this is the example that I use for my SEO description. Feel free to pause right now, and then you can copy and paste this or type it out and then use it for your SEO should you choose to. Next, we've got the content of the actual page. So again, we've got the page title, which just says about me right here. Um, let's put that as meet Marty Miller. And then my title is uh, Realtor uh, Katie, Texas, something along those lines, right? So you can put whatever you feel like your title, title, <laughs> title is. Um, bio title, so what do you want this to say? So I could come in and say, um, you know, uh, more about, Marty Miller. And then I could write my bio out here or copy and paste the bio that I used in my marketing presentation. The contact title, obviously you can edit that too. Um, so to speak with Marty. And then you'd have your phone number, obviously, and your email address. Next, I can click on continue. And that's gonna take me to the Contact Us page, which is kind of the third page that we're building out. So you can see, again, search engine optimization, page title is Contact Us. I might say Contact Marty Miller, just so it's a little more specific. And then Contact Marty, SEO description. I'm gonna use that same description that I used previously. And then on the content, page header. So it says Contact Us. I'm not an us, I'm a me, Contact Marty. And then the intro paragraph, um, in order to schedule tours, find out more about what your home might be worth or learn more about the home buying and selling process, please reach out today. So something along those lines, and you can see as I typed, that paragraph was put in. And then the message hint is down here. So it says, are you looking to buy or sell? What's your time frame? Where are you in the search? What's your budget? 
and then obviously phone number and front desk or front number and email excuse me are what's going to show up down here at the bottom you cannot customize these blanks so it is only going to ask them for first last email and phone number just as a heads up i've had that question come in before so we're going to click on save and continue and at that point we are essentially done with the build out of our site um, if for any reason we wanted to see the pages that were included on our site we would then come back into site and app settings and we would click on site pages and you can see here are the two pages since i skipped the um, business page or the about us as a company you see there's no company page so this is the about me page and this is the contact page that we just created now the last step that's important is you want to make sure you're using your information to brand my agent site so i'm going to toggle that on again it's going to say hey make sure you're in compliance if you're using your own branding I'll say acknowledge and continue. And now my agent site is fully set and built out. So we can come in and actually put in the name of the URL that we claimed. And you'll see here is that site built out. Um, it does not look like it's built out. They go back to kw.com. What was my, whoops, sorry guys. RTT Rainmaker, what did I put in? there we go uh, so now you can see the site so it's got the information here and everything that we just done on the updates is included so that's essentially how you go through and make sure that your site is launched again by clicking on agent site options walk through the Kelly guide and then make sure you've claimed your URL and that you have gone through and set up the site pages if for any reason you ever want to add a page you would go in and actually create those pages now in designs. Um, and then you can come in and add a page that you had created here. Uh, you can also come in and say, hey, I want to go to agent site pages, create a new site on my agent site. And that's how you'll build out additional pages. So we're not going to cover that today. We'll cover it on a future challenge. But for right now, I just want to make sure that your agent site is built out because we are gonna use it um, in the smart plan that we start building and then in the Facebook ad as well. So that's today's challenge, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And as, I was all, as always, excuse me, I look forward to speaking with you again in the future. Hope you're looking forward to a great weekend. Thanks so much.